gonna go ahead and give everybody like a, a definition of hanking. Um, in Dayton, you know, um, people selling drugs, they called it hanking. You know, if a nigga was selling a lot of dope, they like, you know what I'm saying, I'm hanking. Yeah. So what I did, I did, it took and put a, um, a positive spin to it, you know. So I took the word hanking and I made it stand for um, when you can supply the demand and consistently turn a profit. This is a certified hood classic. We've been had money. Money ain't nothing without us being together. It don't do no dip. It don't make no difference if you the the maid or if you the motherfucking bodyguard. Everybody get extras around here. French benefits. Everybody travel from place to place and kick it with each other. And every place is like home. Love child got that sauce. Let's get it. Welcome to my city. It's wood. They know high yo. Me and West players and hustlers check the body. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. I'm in love with the game. Run, hop a Norris Cole. Ohio hey. your player self made. Jim City, we on gold. M double G, yeah, money go kill. Real niggas bout that life. Niggas can't up with them. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit Let's from it. I salute to all the us, J, Charlie, Bugs, and Round, Keith, Denny, Burt, Earl, Kill. the D boys in the Allen, Chino and Lil J, J, Mac and Carly Young, Skane, Key and Diamond Cut, DBM, you know we own. Yeah. I used to cook the beat, I did corn, shoot the three. When he played for the heat, then I flooded the streets. Hustle gang, that's my squad. That's my Motherfucking team just might be your worst nightmare. I see you a dream. We all about the money. Up the system, they corrupt. Ain't no credit, straight cash. So I got my hustle up. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. Hey. Matter of fact, after you leave here, you end up getting your teeth on something and coming up with something better. You know what I'm saying? Like a new car, a new house, maybe the kids get to go to school, private school, pay for, courtesy of the mom. You know what I'm saying? We pay. You know what? That's simple. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funeral. Simple. My boy Hankin TV, that's my dog. He gonna be on the channel real soon. I think tomorrow, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Hankin TV, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's my boy. He put dope content over there. I'm the realest nigga in it. You already know. Got trap of the year four times in a row. What's up with this, your boy JT? If I say I done it, I did it. We back. We back. We back. We back. We about to hear the other side of the story. Um, the other night, we had TTE Naughty on here telling his side of the story. It been allegations about him. Um, the Texas OG is here to speak. We got Lakeside Co in the house tonight. What's up with it? Hey, what's up, my boy? Okay, man. Can you hear you me? Had a yeah, I can hear you good. I can hear you good. I mean, you really had an um, opportunity to, to, to chop it up a little bit about the situation. This, so let's go ahead and, 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 and take it from the top. So where do you know uh, TTE Naughty from? So I know, I know, yeah, from, uh, so the first time I met Pierre was, uh, Pierre came, uh, he kind of, I, I used to do, so when Mike Brown got killed, let me go from the top. When Mike Brown got killed, I used to do something called Save Our Black Everywhere, right? It was the acronym of SOBE. So it all started when a kid came to me. Uh, I said, man, why you ain't in school? It was like the first day of school. And uh, we're in the hood. I live in Lakeside, you know what I'm saying? I live in my hood. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I asked the kid, like, why you ain't going to school? He was like, uh. Cause I ain't got no, I ain't got no backpack, and I ain't got no shoes. I ain't got this, so I was like, all right, don't worry about it. We got him what he needed. 
So then the following year, me and my ex, you know what I'm saying, my ex, he, uh, my mama and my partner, Lil Garland Duncan, we had uh, sat in my living room. I went my kid for Brianna Wallace. Shout out, you know what I'm saying, to my kids. We sat in the living room, nigga, and we made brown bags. You know what I'm saying, full of two supplies. I got all the niggas in the hoods to come donate and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it was like my fourth or fifth year doing it. And, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, sometimes niggas, niggas don't just move. You feel me? Like, off of a post, right? So, sometimes right. you gotta get niggerish with niggas. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta get on, on live, on Facebook, and, you know what I'm saying? Talk a little shit. Like, bro, all you niggas doing all this shit, bro, and buying this and buying that. I see you niggas buying Jordans, you niggas buying this. Nigga, donate $20, nigga, and I don't even want your $20. Nigga, I want you to go to the store and buy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The school supplies. So that's what niggas start doing, bro. Before you know it, for we had a living room full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about a living room full of shit, bro. Paper, pencils, backpacks. So we only had like a, a, enough backpacks to raffle off. So the first year we raffled off backpacks. The next year, my homegirl, Yolanda Miller, she came and helped me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my nigga, Johnny Piper, sister. You know what I'm saying? She reached out to a nigga, you know what I'm saying, and blessed me. She sponsored me. You know what I'm saying? And, and man, we 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 had no brown bags that year. We had our, everybody got backpacks. We got our books. We had free back. We had uh, haircuts. This all in front of my house though. I didn't take this shit outside my hood. I took this shit. I did this shit right in front, right in front of my house. Uh, everybody ate for free. Everybody drunk. Whatever you wanted, water, whatever you want for free. Everything free. You know what I'm saying? Haircuts, nails, face paint. Uh, we even had dentists out there, and, you know, signing people up to get dentist appointments for their kids. And, like, this all happening in my parking lot. The parking lot that niggas pump in. Like, this this way it go on. And this the trenches. So, uh, I did that for six years, bro. And uh, TTE, not he, well, Pierre, he called me. This when he was Pierre. And he was like, this is Pierre. I'm like, oh, Pierre. I'm like, I'm cool. So he texted me on uh, Facebook. And he was like, uh, man, I like what you're doing, bro. He seen my live. He was like, hey, bro, come pick up $50 from me. I mean, come pick up some money from me. I got some money for you. So I'm like, cool. You feel me? I go over there to his house or whatever. I go to his apartments. Uh, at that time, he was there with some girl on, 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 on Berkeley. You know what I'm saying? I don't know her name, but it wasn't with Isha. So he be saying that he was with, with Isha all these years. No, he haven't been. So this nigga said, uh, he gave me $50. We said, smoked the blunt. We chopped it up. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. We, we developed a, 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 a mutual uh, associateship, right? Mm -hmm. So I asked him, did he, was he in the streets? He like, yeah. So, you know, we started doing our thing. We met up like two times. He had the money. The third time we met up, he had the money. So he asked me to front it to him. So I fronted it to him. I ain't see him for years. So one day I'm at my uncle's house. Yeah, one day I'm at my uncle's house. So my uncle like, shit, P.I. finna pull up here. I'm like, P.I. who? He like, P.I. Jones. I'm like, yeah, I'm finna whoop this nigga. He like, nah, nephew, you can't do that. I'm like, like, cool. I'm gonna see what type of temperature this nigga on when he pull up. So when he pull up and he see me, it's like he seen a ghost. So the first thing he did was he read in his pocket like a real nigga. You know, I'm going to give credit where credit do. Like, when niggas be talking, niggas be trying to make it like niggas be friendly and this and that, bro. Like, I'm going to keep it 100. The nigga went in his pocket, gave me $35. You feel me? He still owed me 215 to be exact. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So... I ain't tripping or whatever. He gave me $35, whatever. That that was that. I ain't seen him for another two, three years. When I seen him, he was uh in 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 uh Colleen. He was standing in Colleen, uh, and he was fucking with my partner Don Donovan. And my other little uh Judder. And that's I guess that's how he linked up with Brandwood Chisel. So uh, you know. Next thing I know, it ain't P.I. Jones no more. It's T.T.E. Naughty. 
I know he trying to rap and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. And what a nigga to eat don't make me shit, right? So, right. that ain't nothing. I ain't tripping. So, he ran off on one of my partners that's locked up. You know what I'm saying? He ran off on one of my partners. So, my partners say they ran into each other, whatever. They both kind of don't want to do nothing with each other, whatever. So, that was that. And uh, I seen him on YouTube. Very entertaining character, uh, very talented guy. You feel me? Uh, good at what he do. You know what I'm saying? Break down topics, do what he do. He good at what he do. Respect, right? So I know you lying about all the shit you doing and you did in the feds and you was BG. I know that you lying. You know what I'm saying? I got a cousin who was really down there with BG. You know what I'm saying? I sent you the picture. Like I, I really got a cousin who was down there with BG. You know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, let me let me let me stop you for So when you was talking about the the brown bags and the, and the school drive, you was really telling that story to debunk when he said you had did nothing. Y'all don't do nothing for the community. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. 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 Plus, I coached football, literally football, for seven years. You feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, check my resume. Plus, I speak at funerals, uh, uh, rally up balloon releases, nigga. Uh, me and my partner Michael Wade, shout out Michael Wade, nigga. We we made we made the Nipsey Hustle balloon release happen in Austin, Texas. We made rest in peace, Big Dre balloon had release happen in Austin, Texas. We made Binky release balloon release happen in Austin, Texas. Uh Man, I made Carmine and Carmelo's uh, balloon release happen in Austin, Texas. I, 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 I done done a lot of shit for my community in Austin, Texas for anybody to get on any platform and ever try to tell me down and say I ain't did nothing when you can't show no credentials of you doing nothing. All the young niggas, you had 16-year-old young niggas, now you named Keith that you called your son, and he, and he got a pistol case behind you. Mm. You threw a gun on a 16-year-old kid. Mm. But yet you get on these podcasts talking about that you that you 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 ain't putting no guns in kids' hands, you put microphones in their hands. Stop lying, bro. Right. So it's a kid in Austin, Texas right now, bro, that got a case behind you, bro. A kid. So all right, so we're going to go back to the part where you saying you knew he was, you seen him on YouTube. But before we go any further and get to the story, I want to ask you, because I'm not seeing y'all kind of get into it on, on different platforms. Do you think y'all can, it can ever be squashed? Bro, I, to be honest with you, bro, this shit, internet. You understand what right. I'm saying, bro? Right, right. I, 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 ain't, I ain't one of them niggas like, this shit ain't real life beef, bro. Because if it was real life beef, bro, I'd know where he at. You understand what I'm saying? Like he said, I just seen him. Like a month ago when he interviewed Wack 100. That was the same day I seen him at the store. When he talked Now, was I on some shit? Was I on some shit? You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't on no friendly shit either. Right. So, you know, like, they just be trying to get on these blogs and make themselves sound tougher than they are, bro. And, like, just be yourself, fam. Like, I'm on this shit being myself, bro. I ain't trying to be nobody or nothing, bro. My my, my point and my perspective is a nigga shine the bad light on my town, bro. Nigga shine the bad light on my city, bro. Nigga got... Nigga all the way in the New York Post, bro, calling my city a, a nigga from my city a rat, bro. Right. And you saying that you the voice in the face of our city. How, how does that sound? Then you go up and you lie in that you keep breathing and living, bro. That shit don't make no sense, bro. You doing anything for clout, bro? You so I heard nothing, and you ain't gonna let nothing die, bro. Right. So I heard that um I had uh, read in a, in a post, I think one of your lives where y'all saying that um he took somebody's name. So why is all that just now coming out? 
So listen, so okay. So first of all, shout out PF Quarter, right? You can go to my page, uh, like, comment, subscribe on Austin We Up. You know what I'm saying? It's a video on there, and uh, it says Lakeside Co speaks to the real P90. And Brandon, yeah, these are two people that he say that he know. Well, he didn't say nothing about Naughty because he's living his life. So this is how this go. Both of their name is Pierre, right? Right. Both of their name is Pierre. Pierre Carter got caught with the nine ounces and the ten thousand dollars. You feel me? So he goes, you know, certain niggas don't want to be on the internet. You feel me? Like, hey, bro, go on and do your thing. You feel me? He was locked right. up with him. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga want to be like him, whatever, whatever, bro. Go on and do your thing, fool. Ain't nobody finna bother you, right? So when you doing whole shit and you making a nigga name look bad, you understand what I'm saying? Your name, Pierre. My name, Pierre. Now you using TT Naughty. My name is Naughty and P Naughty. My daddy gave me this name when I was a kid. So, hey, look, niggas been asking me to do it, but shit, this is my kid folk right here. So, if my kid folk, I'm only doing this shit because you my fam. You feel me? Right. Other than that, I wouldn't have said nothing, bro. Type of time. And this come out this man mouth. This ain't nothing what I said. This come out this man mouth. You feel me? So, and then at the end of the day, bro, it's like this. this once again, this is the end of Hold on, it's my time. But once again, this is the internet, right? So, ain't nobody in the, wasn't nobody in the YouTube lane. Wasn't nobody, you feel me? Like, whatever. So, the nigga would have still been living had the nigga not lied to my little brother on me right after he snitched is when I found out. But he been told my little brother this. My little brother ain't never told me this because I would have been exposed. You understand what I'm saying? I would have been exposed to shit had I would have known what he said about me because what he said about me is some shit that I despise because I got shot by a jacker. So I despise jackers. You feel me? So right. you do what you do. You hustle. Do whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I respect your hustle, but don't put that jacket on me. Don't go around and tell people that I used to jack and I used to roll with you and me and you never, me and you was in each other's face one time, bro. Me and you kicked it one time, bro. We smoked the blunt one time, bro. We ain't never been no friends like that, bro. So for you to go around loud and telling people that uh, we used to do this and do that, bro, niggas get killed. It's always the motherfucking innocent bystander that get killed, bro. And the nigga who doing the said the shit just walking around living their life. So, all that line of shit you doing, bro, then you, then I find out you told my, you, you was pressing up on my little brother, you know what I'm saying? Trying to handle my little brother, acting like you, acting like you gonna do this and that to my little brother, bro. A nigga don't respect that shit, fool. So the a, interview, a nigga really don't respect that shit. So the interview that me and him just did, I went through the comments and somebody commented and they said, um, I want to say, um, Crawford, Eric Crawford, they say he was well, he was still alive. So where that where did that story come from? Man, Eddie Eddie Crawford is still alive. This is the man who who not he got on no jumper and said that uh, the person that shot him he killed and that this person that he beat the murder case and that man is alive and breathing, bro. So have you have you had an opportunity to talk to him to hear how he how he feel about his name being capped on? No, I ain't, I ain't talked to him. I ain't talked to the old school. He OG nigga. I ain't talked to him. I ain't gonna lie, you know. So basically, you saying all these stories he been telling it all been capped. All that shit been capped. Mm. I just done, I just done an interview with Trey Six Hundred in the hood, right on Sounds Barbecue, right in O two. I, I just left him over there. 
Yeah. You will see like five, five by five, six niggas pulled up. Holla at a nigga. Hold on one second. Hello? You ready? Uh, let me get a four piece all dark, three thighs, one leg. Uh, original, I mean, classic. I got you. Uh, let me get a sweet tea and some fries. Nah, that's it, my boy. All right, yeah, so uh, this man get up here and tell. All these people that he went to trial and beat a murder case. How how did you beat the murder case? Nobody see nobody ever asked these type of questions. How did you beat the murder case? What was the reason? What was the case that you that you beat the murder case? You understand what I'm saying? Right. What was the reason? How, how did you beat it? It gotta be the self defense or something, right? To beat a body, right? Yeah, that's the only way you gonna be. Exactly, bro. So, how? So, why you ain't telling nobody? Yeah, I beat it on self defense. Or yeah, it, it was a a mistrial, or whatever the case may be. They ain't had no evidence. They ain't had no weapon. You ain't elaborated on shit. All you said was, yeah, he, he uh, the person that the person that uh did that to me, he he ain't here no more. And then we gonna leave it at that. Nah, bro, that ain't cool. That shit ain't live. That shit ain't cool at all, bro. Right. That shit ain't cool at all, bro. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then it was a story that he had. He had got shot with his own gun. So that's that's what happened. He went and tried to rob Eddie Crawford, and Eddie Crawford shot him in the ass with his own gun. And that's why the nigga walked with a limp. Mm. So, so tell the people. So tell the people about your platform. Also, uh, man, we uh, thank you. So, uh, man, my platform, man, I'm finna, uh, I'm about to get all my equipment and shit to start my platform. But as of right now, man, uh, what you can be looking for is me and my partner Yoda Bang, man. We got a little nighttime show that we do every night. You know what I'm saying? We start up at like seven thirty. And shit, we just roll. You know what I'm saying? We just roll for like three hours, man. We bring all the people up. Uh, that's on Broke the Riches TV. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, my pay, my official page is Austin We Up. You know what I'm saying? If you are uh, 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 any kind of rapper, you trying to get your music out there, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just hit us up on Instagram or Austin We Up, you know what I'm saying, for a small fee. You know what I'm saying? We'll post your shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for the most part, on, on, on our little nightcap thing that we do, bro, we just we just gravitate to our supporters. And uh, we actually just be on StreamYard, man, and we, we bring them up. And, you know, we just have a good old time, man. It's really like barbershop talk, you know. Uh, a lot of laugh and a lot of kicking and a lot of family, a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just that that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's this my bro. Yo, the bang page, but uh, you know, we run that shit together type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we we right. tag team, you know. Uh we kind of trying to get on some wallow and gilly shit, you know. So uh I'm trying to get this shit together so that we can get our own little podcast and do our own shit. Uh, where we sitting on the side of each other breaking down topics, and then we can still do our live at night. You understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, so I, I want to bring a lot of shit to the game, and then you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm for the most part, what I really want to do is I want to bring the vision and a voice to Austin. Uh, basically, all these places, all these people, all these things that that Naughty was speaking upon. Uh, I'm just gonna bring Austin alive, right? Uh, because nobody really knows the, the the history of Black Austin. Nobody's been able to tell the history of Black Austin. It's just I'm this. I'm the biggest this. I'm the biggest that. I did this in the streets. I did that in the streets, man. Fuck the streets, right? We can we can we can talk about you know what's going on, man. Uh, what who? How many kids are we saving? Real talk, like you feel me? Like what what? 
what do we bring to the type? You feel me? Like uh just different shit. But I also got uh my mom and my auntie and a few uh, and a few of my family members for like one once a week. I mean once a month. I'm gonna also let them come on on my platform and they're gonna have a uh, uh, like a red room, like a red table discussion, open red table discussion, where they're talking about uh, parenthood and being a single mom, and you know things like that. Uh, things that shatter the black home, right? Uh, right. And, and and things that that that's really that's really real. And uh, man, it probably get emotional and juicy, bro. I, I'm trying to get me and my wife to do a, a podcast, man, so that we can actually grow a, a stronger bond within each other, you know, because you don't actually don't know a lot about a person until you just sit and y'all just, you know what I'm saying, just freelance talking, you know? So uh, you learn a lot more on the side, you know what I'm saying? I, I want I want to bring my queen along because I know that she got, she got goals and, you know, she's trying to... Uh, uh, get her business out the ground we've got to start her business uh to where she's gonna be uh doing like baby showers and weddings and just just like a decorator you know uh that's her, that's something that she loves to do that's a crap so uh man we just gonna we just gonna bring life to our family bro and, and, and life to austin man and and just life to black people period bro in general you know what i'm saying like like this shit right here is just you know it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's internet, you know, nigga. Right. You got to do what you got to do. Like, hey, it is what it is. It ain't gonna go farther than the internet is what I could tell anybody, especially with me. And this shit right. ain't gonna go no farther than the internet, you know. It's just a little exposing. It's just a little friendly competition, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just you saying that you this, and, and I'm saying you not. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just a little. You know, a nigga just addressing the elephant in the room. You know what I mean? Uh, shit, it is what it is. Like because, bro, bro took the platform and didn't want to put nobody else from Austin on. He wanted everything to himself, and that's not cool. Right. Although it was uh in negative in some ways, do you feel like um it it, it still did bring some light to Austin though? No. Yeah. And that's why we was letting them make it for two years. You understand what I'm saying? Cause nobody, nobody cared about what he was doing, bro. We letting you do you. You ain't nobody in the street, so be a podcaster, bro. Mm. You good at, but now you ain't with the police. So now you getting exposed all the way because we don't fuck with rats. So now we just gonna. Leak you out. Right. So it is so it is true that he um that he has snitched. Hell yeah. He told on my cousin that what that ain't got nothing to do with it. He told on a man who got his own cases going on, his own shit going on, that his life, man, he just had his first child. And you going lie on this man and say he coming down here with AKs and he'll shoot at the police. Damn. So the purpose of your platform, what you're trying to do is it, you 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 bring in more positive light. Exactly. And bring that light to Austin. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I'm telling the story of, of Austin. You feel me? Uh, the ghetto babies, uh, the street niggas, the niggas without a voice, the niggas who really want to do it, but they don't want to, you know, they just don't, it got to be the right person. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Uh, certain shit ain't, ain't, ain't for everybody to do. We all got our objects and we all got our own lanes, right? So what, what Naughty do and what I do is totally different. But the difference is, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be breaking down topics. So, you know, we're going to be breaking down topics. We're going to be doing a lot of different shit. Like, it's not going to just be one dimensional when you fucking with me. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, like, I, I, I don't want to just be on hip hop all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was watching some shit yesterday about this little girl 
from uh Washington D.C. Her name is Relisha Wood. Relisha Wood. Uh, Rudd. She's been missing for ten years, man. We don't we we shine light on finesse two times being a rat and shit like that, but we don't shine light on a young black girl that got kidnapped, bro, and, and could be dealing with sex trafficking, bro. This man, whoever he is, he got this little bro and he killed his wife to get this little girl, man, to get away with this little girl, man. Right, I've seen that. So it, it's it, it's way bigger shit than just some rap. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Just some, well, we're going to touch bases on all that type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to shine light on on the shit that don't get the light shined on, bro. Right. Now, bro, by, y'all both, gonna... by y'all both having the message of making it out, of helping the youth, and, and you saying this internet, is it, is it, you think y'all can ever work together in the future? Nah, I can't work alongside of no rap, my boy. I, I ain't going to even lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe we can be cordial and uh, you do your thing and I do my thing, right? But, uh, bro, that man that, that man be typing just Twitter finger and just saying stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do this. I know what this person say. I know this. and I, Bro, don't play with me, fool. Like, you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so it's like, lines you don't cross. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, I can't, I can't fuck with you like that. You feel me? So, like, it's no animosity. You know, it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just still belt to ass. You know, if a nigga asks me about you, I don't tell him. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, I'm not finna keep on talking about this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my own shit going on. I'm really, I'm really living real life. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm really that dude in real life. So, Excuse me, this internet shit is just a hobby. It's therapeutic for me. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, to be able to talk and, and, and be able to have a voice and be able to have people understand my struggle or, or my story. You feel me? To where they be like, yeah, that nigga, they're talking real. I, I can hear it in that nigga voice. They hear a real nigga, man. That nigga, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I also, bro, I also sent you all the pictures to validate who I am. You feel yeah, me? You most, yeah, you most definitely did. You did. You That's feel one me? One of the pictures from, on the thumbnail. Yeah. You feel me? From the teenager to all the way up, bro, to being a grown man. You feel me? Uh, bro, I, I, I sent you everything. You feel me? Like, like a real nigga supposed to. I check out. You feel me? My file right. check, check out. You understand what I'm saying? So when I speak on something, I'm just speaking on what I know, bro. You know what I'm saying? And what I do know is P.I. ain't who he say he is. Right. And that's why so many fuck, me, fuck niggas make it today, man. Motherfuckers ain't checking their background. Exactly, bro. But see, that was the thing, right? If you don't know P.I. Carter, right? His name Pierre. His name Pierre. You understand what I'm saying? So it's it, that was the easy part of him being able to take the name Naughty and running with it. You get me? Right. His name Pierre. Your name Pierre. He from O2. You you from O2, right? So it's easy to get that mix. You feel me? Yeah, you definitely can run off with it. You feel what I'm saying? And this man ain't no internet nigga. This man got his own food truck. He got his own business, bro. This nigga ain't no internet person. Man, have that shit, fool. It sound better than you telling people that you got caught with 6.5 grams. <laughs> that you went fed for. It sound way better than that. You went fed. 6.5 grams. Right. I kept it real. I kept it real from the truck and just said, yeah, nigga, I went to the pen for five rocks, nigga, on a fluke mission. It was the end of the night. You feel me? Nigga had to already took care of his business. You feel me? It's the end of the night. Trying to go get some bitch at McDonald's, my nigga. And got pulled over. Caught a dumbass dog case. So you also sent me the picture with, um, I believe you said it was your cousin in the picture with BG. 
Yes, sir. My cousin Eddie Hemphill. So it also had been saying, I know heard a lot of people saying that it um he actually really wasn't uh BG Selly. No, nah, he wasn't BG Selly, man. He was BG Flunky, man. Hey, oh uh, uh, man, yeah, see you you ain't even see. You remember he said he was on the phone with BG? I just parked at the house. You said remember he said he was on the phone with BG, right? Right. You know OG Freeze just released something on that? No, I ain't know that. OG Freeze just showed you it was a recorded call. Did they call it um when uh, BG Post had called into the show? Yep. It was a fake call. It was a pre-recorded call, man. The nigga still got the, the nigga still got the, the recording, man. Nigga just posted the record, man. Hmm. Wow. I'm glad, man. Just hear that, man. So you really ain't even talked to BG. So you really ain't even talked to BG. So, um. Is Pop Austin, is Pop Austin like the only podcast platform in Austin? Yeah and no, right? Um, my cousin got a platform, right? Um, I don't know what his name is on it. He just made one. Um, but they are the on, one of the only hip-hop podcasts in Austin, right? Right. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's wild, man. I got the um I got the link to your um to your channel Austin. We up in the description of the video. Um I'm glad you was able to come through, put some clarification on it. Um that the right, put this one in there too. Put this one in there. Broke to riches, broke to riches TV. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there. Um I'm gonna put it in there as soon as we end. I'm glad yeah, you were able to yeah. come through, um, share your message with the people, um, and also glad to hear, man, it is just internet. Yeah, it's just internet, man. Ain't nobody gonna get hurt. I got a four bedroom house, a beautiful wife, six kids. Nigga, you think I want to go to jail? Right. So you also said the um, Austin Me Up was a platform was the um showcase, um. Artists in Austin. Uh -huh. What some, art, some artists that people could be looking for coming up out of Austin? All right, look for my boy Young XO. Uh, my kid folks, two four razor back. Uh, he in jail right now, but um, he'll be probably be popping when he get back out. Shout out Money Click Tanky. Um, Quinn NFN. Uh, damn. O'Shea. NFN, OTM Zay, uh, OTM Thrax. Oh uh, man, we got we got a plethora of niggas, man. Lil June Bug, man. We got a plethora of young niggas. Uh, J Rich the Don. Uh, man, we got we got some niggas down here in Austin, man. And that's that's another thing, right? That's what I'm gonna be bringing to the light, right? I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of these people on the platform. Um. Uh, Showcasing their skills, man. Putting the people in their mix, man, and letting them know, man, who they are, how their rap career started, what they, you know. I'm, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the people Austin, man. Right. And, yeah, I'm gonna give and people Austin. And by you mentioning OTM Zay, that means you, you, you do mess with some of the other guys that, that's that's at Pop Austin. Yeah, I fuck with Zay. I fuck with KP. Uh, shout out Chris J. Jackin. I, I have no problems with none of those guys, man. Big Bang, shout out to those guys, man. Jet D, I don't have no problem with those. I really want to do some business with them. Right. Oh, uh, for this, just one night because they're a one stop shop. And I don't want niggas coming to my house. So that'll be somewhere where I could put the um, musical platform at, right? For that, because that's what they're known for. For this bringing Austin uh, rappers, you know what I'm saying, young coming up rising Austin rappers 
and putting shining the light back on Austin in a positive way instead of it being just one person. So, because it's so many, you know what I'm saying? So just focus. We can't just focus. We got to, it's so many. And, and, and do you, although you went on the inside, is, do you believe that's why he was falling out with so many guys just to, to keep it to himself? Well, those niggas don't know nothing. That's why that came out. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody said it, said, said shit, but nobody got the facts. Because, hold on. Nobody got the facts because of the simple fact is nobody really know these people he talking about. I got the facts because I know who the fuck he talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on. Y'all go check out my little brother, man. Uh, J. Cole, two, J. Cole, two, four, man. He hard, man. Uh, with this rapper shit, he do music videos. He do um, picture shooting, photo shootings, man. Uh, check him out, man. Oh, on YouTube, J. Cole, two, four, man. Uh, that's my little brother, man. But yeah. And, and where, just, can the, where can the people be expecting to see the um the interview you say you just did with um Trey Six Hundred? That's on Trey. He got you know he got to do his thing. Right, right. Yeah, you know he got to do his thing. But see, this is the first of many with me and Trey. You know what I'm saying? Me and Trey going me and Trey gonna bring Austin to y'all, right? We gonna be going and doing interviews. Every hood, and I'm gonna shoot every every interview I do. I'm gonna do it a different hood in Austin. In Austin, nigga. Okay, we're about to get the real Austin. In Austin, and you gonna see how many niggas pull up, blow their horn. What's up, bitch? I love you. You gonna see. You gonna see. That's a wild. lot of them That's names I shouted out. Yeah, a lot of them names I shouted out on Pop Austin, man. You're going to see these faces, man. I'm going to put faces with names, man. Yeah. Right, so you bring, you go ahead and bring in the proof with it. Yeah, it's in the pudding. Most definitely. No I, I, definitely I definitely appreciate you for coming through, man. Um. Text me that page that you had just told me about the rich page so I can put it go ahead and put that in the description. I got you, I got you, bro. All right, it's, bro, broke, um, it's, broke, it's broke the richest TV. Broke the richest, broke, okay, I got it. Broke to riches TV. All right, got it. All right, my boy. All right, appreciate it. We are appreciate you, man. Shout out to the TV, man. Hit me, hit me Shout up. Shout out to the TV, man. You already know, hit me up anytime. I got you, dog. You take it easy. It's vice versa, man. All right, bet. You already know. Bet. Yup, yup. Man, it's a wild story, but the whole mortal story for y'all, man, it's enough. It's enough out there for everybody. I was glad to hear that, you know what I'm saying? I'm no motherfucker ain't gonna get on here and incriminate themselves, but I'm glad to hear that it's that it's staying to the internet. It's just some internet shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's crazy, man. Um we gotta start doing background checks on people, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, whichever way it worked, it still brought um it worked, it brought it brought some light to Austin, you know what I'm saying? I don't agree with the part with um fucking up a person's name, whatever, but it, it still brought some light to Austin, man. I just want to bring y'all that other side. Like I said, um me and TTE Naughty, we had did two interviews, and um I have people hitting me up and in the comments saying um they had the had the other part of the story. So this is like I said, this is an even even playing field right here. You know, we're always gonna take both sides of the story. Um, I don't like it, it's a different time. Like I just did an interview before this. If y'all missed it with OG BZ, and um he was talking about his Fed time, and um he old school too, and it's just like the new wave, the new generation, man. They just put a whole new definition and spinning on this on this snitch shit. You know what I'm saying? I remember growing up, one of the first things your mama used to tell you, don't be a tattletale, don't be a tattletale. But in this day and time, that's just a, sti a, 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 a sticky situation, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I just want to just bring y'all both sides of it. Um, tap in with the artist um, he was talking about. 
like I said, the um, link to his channel, um, Austin We Up, is in the description of the video. And that, like I said, man, just let y'all know and see, man, that there's enough money out there for everybody. Also, man, hit me up for your Hankin merch, your Hankin Definition T-shirts, your Hankin Logo T-shirts and hoodies. Um, subscribe to the channel if y'all ain't subscribed. Um, make sure y'all hit that like button, man, and keep going back, checking out my interviews. I got some dope people on there, and the whole purpose of Hankin TV, man, is to bring people from different places together just to, uh, to reach out. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the people in Ohio, then they got a taste of Austin. People in Austin, then they got a taste of Ohio. We got a dope female artist coming up tomorrow, um, Benji Cuz, a female artist out of Dallas, Texas. She banging. We got her coming up tomorrow at um, 6 p.m. Um, Central Standard Time, and we booked. We booked our way to the middle of April. Also, if you know any other artists, this are brand owners that need a platform, man, uh, to push them out there, to promote them, to tell their story, uh, hit me up. We definitely working. And like I tell everybody, once you tap in with Hank and TV, you locked in for life, man. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit y'all with the... Uh, I'm going to hit y'all with the Hank and TV intro. Dope. The hottest intro on YouTube. Also, slide through the night. So player TV. He got some Dallas business going on over the night. So make sure y'all slide through and check him out. I'm going to um, take y'all out with the uh, hottest intro on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and give everybody like a, a definition of hanking. Um, in Dayton, you know, um, people selling drugs, they called it hanking. You know, if a nigga was selling a lot of dope, they like, you know what I'm saying, I'm hanking. Yeah. So what I did, I did, it took and put a, um, a positive spin to it, you know. So I took the word hanking and I made it stand for um, when you can supply the demand and consistently turn a profit. This is a certified hood classic. We been had money. Money ain't nothing. Without us being together, it don't do no. Di it don't make no difference if you the the maid or if you the motherfucking bodyguard. Everybody get extras around here. French benefits. Everybody travel from place to place and kick it with each other. And every place is like home. Watch out, got that sauce. Let's get it. Yeah, so welcome to my city, Westwood. They know how yo. Me and West players, the hustlers, check the body. They call me Hankin for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. I'm in love with the game. Run, hop a Norris Cole. Hey. Oh, how your player self, man? Jim City, we on go. M double G, yeah, money go get em. Real niggas bout that life. Niggas can't up with They call me Hankin for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit. They call me Hankin for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit Let's from it. Yeah. Salute to all the us, J, Charlie, Bugs, and Round Keep, Denny, Burt, Earl. Yeah. The deep was in the L. Chino and Lil J, J, Mac, and Carly on. Skang, Key, and Diamond Cut. DBM, you know we own. Yeah. I used to cook the tea. I did corn, shoot the three. When he played for the heats, then I flooded the streets. Hustle Gang, that's my squad. That's my motherfucking team. Just might be your worst nightmare. I'll see how you a dream. We all about the money. Up the system, they corrupt. Ain't no credit, straight cash. So I got my hustle up. They call me Hankin for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. They call me Hankin for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from me. Matter of fact, after you leave here, you end up getting your teeth on something and coming up with something better. You know what I'm saying? Like a new car, new house, maybe kids get to go to school, private school, pay for courtesy of the mob. You know what I'm saying? We pay. You know, that's simple. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funeral. Simple. My boy Hank and TV, that's my dog. He gonna be on the channel real soon. I think tomorrow, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Hank and TV, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's my boy. He put dope content over there.
niggas cause they so funny.